Hey fellow writers, that salty novelist Brooke here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys my vast collection of notebooks. I'm going to show you guys the ones that I use the most often and what I use them for and why. First I have my NaNoWriMo Novel Notes notebook. It is a leather bound notebook with the NaNoWriMo logo on it. I also have writing in here from different ideas, character profile things bits and pieces of things that I need for my novels and as you can see I have lots of pages that have not been filled in yet I don't use this one as often as the others because I just think it's too pretty to use but it does come in handy because of its smaller size and it's perfect to take with me anywhere next up is my other NaNoWriMo notebook this one is a spiral bound and I have wrote a lot in this one I originally was going to use this entirely for my notes until I decided to switch to my computer. So you can see I've got my Magna Carta, my characters, but I quit using it like I said to use my computer so I have the rest of it. I might end up filling it out with some of my stuff for my book, I'm not sure, or just leave it for another writing project in the future. But I definitely like to use this one a lot. And like with the other one, it is a great conversation starter because of the NaNoWriMo logo on the bottom. My tried and true NaNoWriMo notebook, though, lies within this one subject college ruled basic spiral bound. I have done all my research in this. I have put the rest of my character info, names of characters and animals that I can choose from, character's purpose, conflicts, and my various revised chapters. As you can see, I have a lot here. I end up changing it up again. And again. And again. And yet again. So I continue to change this up. But it has really helped me. And I'm almost to the end of this book, which makes me super sad because I've only got like this many pages left. But for some reason, I just chose to use this one this year, and I really kind of like it. This one may not be a typical notebook, but this is my 642 stories to write. And it's basically just a bunch of different writing prompts to help get me in the mood to write, to expand my creativity, and help me when I get into those writer blocks that so many of us face. I haven't gotten too far into it yet. I am... Just a couple pages in, but you can see all the different ones I've already done. What I might start doing is try to do a whole page a day and continue that even through NaNoWriMo. But it is a really neat book and I highly recommend it. It gives you so many different prompts that you have to think about. And it really helps you to expand your creativity and focus on honing in on your writing skills. This notebook I use specifically for my video ideas. I make sure to write all of them down and cross off the ones I've already done. Pretty self-explanatory. This notebook I've had for many, many years and it's went through a couple different phases of what it is. But right now it is my expense history for my horse. So this is just a record of the past year and a half that I've had horses here on my own to keep track of all my expenses, how much things were, how often I bought them. And that's what this little guy has ended up being used for. This little guy is really cute. I haven't used him as much as I did in the beginning, but this is a writer's journal that helps you to keep track of every ride you've done. The date, the day, the horse's name, the weather, riding and trail rides. It gives you the companions, destination, route, duration, etc. Lessons learned and practice, care and maintenance after, behavior, and the highlights of the day. And it's like that through all of these. And on the backs, you also have events so you can keep track of your shows. 
and it's a great way to look back on your rides and figure out what you need to improve on. The good rides, the bad rides. I mean, come on. It's super cute. This notebook is quite colorful. This is my blue camo. And again, nothing in it. Just an extra, because as much as I go through them, you never know. This little guy is a lot smaller than the leather browned NaNoWriMo one that I have. But this is one of my little guys that just doesn't really get used. I love this journal that I have. This is a marble journal that I got from Walmart. I really want to start journaling a lot more. I just haven't gotten around to it. But you can see I did quite a few pages in here before I quit. At the top, it has the months and it has the days. It has the little bookmark down at the bottom. I really want to get back into journaling. Plus, it's very pretty and I definitely do not want to let go of this journal for anything. The last two in my collection are art books. Some of my favorite little doodles, if you guys can see that. Now, this took me a couple hours to do one day, but I am quite proud of it. I'm not a hardcore bullet journal person as much as some people, but it does help me and pass the time. Here's another one I love. It says lazy. I really enjoy doing bullet journaling. I have a lot to learn still, but I love this little journal. And on days when I'm really stressed or something, I will pick this up and just start doodling and I feel a whole lot better by the end of it. The last book that I have to show you all is what originally got me started in wanting to do the bullet journals. This is the first bullet journal type thing that I ever did. And I also did Be Brave as well as To the Moon and Back. I have this guy for whenever I want to do some more art. You can never have too many journals and too many notebooks. That's my take on it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of my collection of journals and notebooks. I know I am definitely not the only one who has a problem with buying lots and lots of journals that you don't really use. If you guys liked today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos like this on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!